Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back. Um, just want to do a quick post-game uh, reaction to last night's Patriots game versus the Houston Texans. Um, before we get into it, if you like these sports videos, give me a like, hit that subscribe. And if you want to see anything else regarding sports, put it in the comments below. Um, so I'm just going to get right into this. Uh, Patriots lost uh, um, their second game of the season, which was a 28-22 um, the score is, is a little misleading. They, they did definitely didn't play like they scored 22 points. They most most came in in the uh, in the last quarter. Yeah, they they played pretty pitiful, if you ask me. I mean, uh, nobody seemed to be on the right on the right page from from the beginning of the game. I mean, the the the, the defense played okay. I mean, they didn't play you know terrible. I mean, they, they did give they give up 28 points, but that was mostly I think due to the fact that the offense couldn't keep themselves on the field. Um, they had a lot of three and three and outs, um, and they just yeah they just couldn't get together. And they had you know that a new kicker which missed the two was it the missed an extra point. Not that that really made a difference in the grand scheme of things. Um, but I understand they need a new kicker because the other guy had a has appendix out or something, so they need another kicker. So this makes it a fourth kicker. Um, yeah, so I think it, I think a lot of this is due to the fact that they got a lot of these these receivers are, are just young young guys who you know don't know the offense well enough, and, and Brady's you know not trusting them enough. You know, they I think that's what it, it's kind of a, a combination between them. You know, not enough trust. You know, being young r rookies, you know, playing in, in this, you know, this type of offense. Maybe they don't have it down yet, or maybe they just, you know, they just just had a you know a bad night because they've this only like the second or third games that these guys have been really involved in a game. I mean, other than Sony Michelle, but this is his what his second year. Um, other than that, I mean, you had Edelman and James White. I mean, that's the only two guys who. Have been there the, the entire season. The other guys have been there, but they don't, don't have the the experience. I mean, um, was it Jacoby Myers? I mean, he's been kind of in in and out during the course of the season. But he also hasn't been getting as many opportunities because he's a rookie. And uh, Sanu, this only is I think his his third game. Um, and uh, you know, so so they just you know, I think it's just you know growing pains part of it and. Brady's not trusting them, and just having the defense of the Texans just being playing a really good game, and you know, and keeping them off the field. Um, you also had uh, Nikhil Harry, who, who didn't have a, any catches last. They had that one they almost caught, but that ended up going back for an interception for the touchdown at the beginning of the game. Um, I think this is his only third game, you know, since coming back from an injury. So I think that plays a big part. I think I think that they they sat him down Ian Myers at some point during the game um, on the bench because they weren't playing that well I don't know I don't think that does, does a whole lot of good for their confidence when they you know they make a mistake and you go and bench them when you, you, know, you need these guys and especially Harry I mean, he's, a, he's a big receiver he should be a physical receiver and you go and bench because he made a mistake I mean I don't know how much of the interception was his fault or Brady just throwing a bad pass um, it's kind of really kind of hard to tell uh, I think it's me, I think it's more on Brady than it is on uh, that it is on him. I mean, he threw it right to the guy. So I don't know, but I think some people because it's Brady, they're gonna say it was a receiver's fault. Um, you know, so the first three quarters they really didn't do a whole lot of anything. Uh, not taking anything away from the Texans, the Texans played a, a, a great game. Deshaun Watson had a, had a pretty remarkable game. I mean, every time they 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 got the ball, they you know kind of moving it as much as they wanted to because if even though you know they did score twenty eight points, but it wasn't like they they scored you know, over the entire game. I think they scored most of the points in the first half. Was it? Was it? Uh, I forgot how many points they had in the first half. Uh, the Patriots had three. Was it seventeen and three? I can't recall it. What, what, let's see. It was uh, I'm sorry. So it was fourteen to three. You know, I think overall, I mean, the, the Patriots are just going to have a tough go for the, the next, you know, the remainder of the season. I mean, they got some of these these guys back from injury, but it's, it doesn't. They're still not on the same page. They got a lot of rookies in there playing. The offensive line, I mean, they got uh, Isaiah Wynn back, but then they lost uh, Ted Karras yesterday. I think he 
tore uh, ACL or something. I forget. So I think he's lost for the season. So now you got, uh, what was it, Ferentz, I think it was, that took over the center position, and he doesn't really play that much. He's more of a, you know, like the third guy in line, even though they're supposed to be like the next guy in line, supposed to be just as good. But he, he you know, he just isn't. He's a, I mean, he's an okay player. Um, I just think with the amount of problems they've had with the offensive line, this definitely doesn't help. Marcus Cannon, I mean, I, he, he didn't really do anything to help Brady last time. He, the guy was getting, you know, pushed around, and they got big guys running right by him. You know, the, he, the, you know, he's a lot bigger than the other guy. I forget what the other guy's name was. The guy who played on the defense. Um, he just blown right past him. He couldn't stop him. There was that one play where Brady, Brady got, you know, the safety came right down the middle. I think it was a safety. He came right down the middle and, and sacked Brady. Nobody even, even touched him. I mean, you, you can't have things like that happen. And the offensive line has been a problem all, all season long. So, so I think it's, it's so many different things. The only thing that's been consistent is the defense up until last night. They've been keeping people out of the end zone. But So you had a combination of the these kids who are, are rookies you know, with little experience. The offensive line has been bad. Another injury last night. Uh, Brady getting frustrated. I think when he gets frustrated, it doesn't help the situation. I think he, he tries to force things too much. Like he never kept trying to force it to Edelman. You know, I think he trusts him enough, but you're trying to force it to a guy who's double teaming the entire game. And then you get Sonny Michelle, who's. He just hasn't been that, that good this year. I can't, it drives me crazy when I see this guy running right into the middle of the, of the, you know, the offensive defensive line every time. Like, go to the left, go to the right. It, 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 it gets hit and gets, it gets knocked down. It was, I can't, it drives me crazy seeing that. Like, go around. Like, there's no point in running straight ahead if you know there's no hole there. So go around. Try to, try to, try to use your head and go around. James White, they, they, they put Sonny Michelle was on the sideline. They brought James White in, and he went to, the, you know, around to the right, and he gained about 15 yards on one play. Um, so it goes to show that he was paying attention. You know, just keep running right into the, into the line. That's, that's just stupid. I don't, never understood that. You know, but they kept trying to go to the running game. Even at the near the end of the game, fourth quarter, the times run out and they're running the ball. I don't know if they had just given up with it at that point, but when you're down by two touchdowns with five minutes left, you don't run the ball. That that's ridiculous. Is it? You know, what, what good is that going to do you? And you need more than a field goal. You need two touchdowns. Um, so you know, it was a frustrating, frustrating game for the Patriots. They, they didn't play well. The you know, Texans played great, and they just didn't overall. I mean, other than the defense, I mean, but they couldn't, you know, they couldn't get off the field. But I think that maybe they were getting tired because they were on the field a lot in the first half because the offense wasn't moving the ball at all. There's you know, a lot of three and outs, you know, uh, interceptions, um, just overall bad plays. And there was that. Fourth and fourth and a half yard, and instead of just doing a quarterback sneak or running the ball, they try to throw it to Sanu and he drops it. It was just you know so many just so many stupid mistakes and drop and drop pass and interceptions. You know they missed they missed uh, extra point. It's just overall they just played a terrible game overall. Um, and so they you know they better you know have a good week of practice. They get Kansas City this week in. In Foxborough, I mean, and Kansas City would just roll right over them unless they get their act together. Um, I thought maybe it was just the last game against Dallas was they played poorly because of the weather, but now I'm starting to think they just they're just not on the same page with each other, and they, they I mean, they really got to get it together. Brady's got to get out there with his receivers and try to get these young guys on the same page and and try to get them to understand some of these plays better. Was that one where he got mad at Myers for not running the correct way and. And he's yelling at Dorsett and Edelman on the sideline. I thought he was yelling you know, you know, at these other guys, but he wasn't. Um, yeah, just a terrible game overall. Even though they're, they're still 10-2, and two, it just doesn't feel like they're 10-2. I think at the beginning of the season they had you know pretty easy schedule. And now showing, going against some of these, these tougher teams are starting to show some of their weaknesses. So they get to, you know, better start practicing a little bit harder and start doing everything better. I mean, you know, overall they're just going to get better as a team. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this for this week's Patriots talk. Um, so, yeah, if you like these videos, give me a like and give me a subscribe. Until next time.